Hey, what's going on, my orange troopers? My name is Orange Pocket Play Slash VA, and today I just got word of this brand new amazing game called Jump Force. So, essentially, this is going to be an anime crossover fighting game. I, I don't really know anything about it. I just watched the trailer today. Not a lot of information has been released, but I do know a little bit about uh, the characters that are going to be in the game, and I have taken screenshots and reviewed from uh, Bandai Namco's official YouTube channel. Link to the original in the description down below. I have uh, I've reviewed the trailer several times over. I've scanned a lot of things. I'm not really going to go over the background images because they're just like stages that you can play at in the game or maybe they're parts of cutscenes, but they, they wouldn't just throw those in there for no reason. I feel like it's going to be an important part of the game, but I'll analyze the background and stuff later. Right now, I just want to talk about the characters and how overall the game's going to be played. And from what I've been told, the game's going to play more like... Um, it's going to be a lot faster and better than J-Star since it's going to play more like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, but less flying because not all these characters can fly. So, we start off with getting a glimpse of Lord Frieza. Yes, final form Frieza. Yes, kill the monkeys. Death, death, murder, death. You know, that, that Lord Frieza. And basically, what he's doing is he's in his final form and he's shooting death beams at random buildings just... And this isn't like a like an anime, like a like a specific setting from an anime. This is like a real this is like real center city Japan, like in real life. And Frieza's just destroying buildings left and right. And what what it says in the trailer is um the the heroes that we could only imagine are now coming to save us in our time of need. So that makes me wonder if maybe somehow Frieza's managed to get himself into the real world, and maybe the heroes have to come together. Maybe Frieza's going to be the main villain, but I don't think so. I don't think Frieza's going to be the main villain of this game. I'm not ready to make that call just yet, but it seems like they might be hinting at it from the way the trailer's portrayed. But it's not enough focus on Frieza for me to fully say that. But nonetheless, Lord Frieza is here and he is causing trouble. And of course, who other to come stop Frieza than the man, the legend himself, Son Goku. We get a glimpse of him slowly walking into the city before he's joined by the other heroes that we'll get to here in a minute. And then it cuts to him uh, going Super Saiyan and going to fight Frieza himself. So I just want to give you a good look of Goku's base form. Um, it's shown off in the trailer very well. It looks very nice. I really love the way that this game renders Goku. Um, he looks amazing. It's completely different from the art styles of both Xenoverse 2 and uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, which have both also came out relatively uh, quickly. So, this is very fascinating to me because I love the way that Goku's kind of screaming, the way that his arms are, it's positioned, it's very, very good to the show, but it's also vaguely and weirdly realistic. Like, Goku's got very distinct hair detail and eye detail and just things that Goku doesn't normally have, but I also really like it. And the way that Super Saiyan is rendered looks beautiful, but yes, Goku goes Super Saiyan, he starts wailing on Frieza, he charges up a Kamehameha, and it just, just absolutely decimates him. But he does get help, and again, I'll get to that in a minute, but I feel like Goku's going to be a very fun character in this game. I don't think they're going to go too, too much into Dragon Ball Super or GT. I think that they're just going to primarily stick with Z Goku, but I, I could be wrong. But from what I've seen in the trailer, it's mostly just Z Goku stuff, just the good old instant transmission, Kamehameha Wave, Super Saiyan 1 through 3, no, no biggie. Um, and I, I didn't see any hints of Frieza's golden form either. It was just, you know, regular old Frieza charging up and, and, and causing trouble. But let's shift from Goku to the next character that we see. Um, that next character being another good character that a lot of people love, being none other than the Pirate King himself, Straw Hat Luffy. The way that they introduce him is very um, Spider-Man Homecoming-esque, ironically enough. He's just kind of chilling out in the shadows, and then suddenly he swings into frame. Yes, he literally swings with his stretchy arms, building to building. <laughs> it's really weird, but it also works for his character because that is, again, nonetheless, something that a good old Luffy would definitely do. Um, so yeah, he comes in, he stretches in, and he begins to help uh, Goku with the fight with Frieza. And it's it's really interesting. There's this really beautiful scene of, of them fighting uh, together that I particularly like. But again, I can't get into that just yet. Uh, let's focus on Luffy right now, and I'll get into the scene where they're all fighting together in a minute. I'm trying to take this character by character, and knowing how Luffy works and operates, and the uh, crossover they did with Dragon Ball and One Piece, and that other anime that I can't remember, that I don't think anyone can remember, to be entirely honest with you, I, I tried to watch it and I couldn't get into it, but, you know, the blue-haired guy with the muscles. <laughs> um, yeah, so there was, a, there was a crossover, and I know that Goku and Luffy are very keen on crossing over with one another 
One Piece and Dragon Ball have had several crossovers um, in both games and in the normal uh, format of the show. And it is definitely fascinating to me when things like this happen because you have these characters crossing over yet again but in the game format and it makes me wonder if they'll maybe make that uh part of the story maybe they'll have character dialogue together where goku will be like oh man this certainly isn't the first time we've teamed up (laughs) but uh, you know we'll get more information on that and see how that goes as it comes because you know for now it's you know it's all up in the air but we do get this amazing transition of luffy turning gear forth and it just looks absolutely beast and beautiful in every way and i i love it but uh coming up next on our third hero um but not the final and we'll get to that in a bit so the third hero that we see here is is naruto himself and he's got all the all his shadow clones backing him up and they're all charging at frieza with goku and luffy luffy swings in on on frieza from one side goku flies in on him from the other and naruto and his shadow clones kind of run down from the from the the top of the building and they're all charging at frieza at once and frieza's kind of like he's got this panicked look on his face like oh i done goofed like he's like scared for his really scared for his life at this point and this is where things start to get real so then naruto of course has to transform to he enters his uh six path sage mode just absolutely infuriated he looks absolutely peeved about what frieza's done and you'd think that he'd stop there but no naruto actually i believe and i and i looked at the way that Luffy was attacking to make sure he didn't go gear second or gear third, but it doesn't doesn't look like it. it. It may be wrong. It might have been subtle, and I might have missed it, but I don't think he does. And I'm pretty sure Goku just goes Super Saiyan. No Super Saiyan 2, no KO Ken, no Super Saiyan 3, just Super Saiyan. So Naruto is the only one that gets a second transformation. He goes his, his to his six paths Sage Mode, and then his six paths Nine Tail Beast Mode. Uh, Sage Mode, also. It's a really long name, and I I could say the Japanese name, but I didn't look it up, so... Yeah, we're gonna go with Six Path Sage Mode, Nine Tail Beast Mode. (laughs) Even though it's a really long and complicated name, I'm sorry, I'm not really caught up with Naruto, so I don't really know what this is called. Please tell me in the comments down below. But I do love Naruto. Um, it was one of the first anime I ever watched. I watched the original series on Cartoon Network when I was a kid. I'm very excited to see how Naruto is going to work in this game, but his combos look absolutely sick. So, as I promised, we're coming back to that fight scene. So, what happens is, they all, all of these heroes transform, and Final Form Frieza has this terrified look on his face. He's scared, he's shaking in his boots, and they all go in on him at once. So, Naruto powers up, Goku powers up, you can see him just pushing the limits of his Super Saiyan transformation, Naruto pushing his sage abilities and luffy going turning into an absolute beast and so they all charge in at frieza all at once luffy goes in smashing frieza into the ground with his absolutely massive fists almost incredible hulk style then naruto just brutally slams him in the face with a rasengan and goku follows through with an instant transmission kamehameha blasting frieza back and then all three of them begin to charge up their signature most powerful attacks looks like um Naruto's going in for a Razen Shuriken, Goku's going in for a Super Kamehameha, and Luffy's going in for a Gomu Gomeno something. And uh, and Frieza is just standing there, petrified, like he doesn't know how to how to counter this. Uh, or, <laughs> counter. He doesn't know how to counter this. And he just looks like he's about to crap his pants. <laughs> like, if he wore pants, he's naked. I forgot Frieza doesn't wear clothes. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm being weird. I'm just really excited about this, because... I personally didn't really like J-Star's victory. I had a lot of hope for it, but it ultimately disappointed me. Um, But, you know, here's hoping that this one is way better. I will definitely be buying this game. It looks absolutely awesome, and this will be, honestly, one of the... I hope that this is one of the first crossover games that I actually enjoy, because I'm very cynical when it comes to crossover games. There's very few that I like. and In fact, I'm pretty sure the only crossover games that I've actually enjoyed are um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh dc versus marvel and i did also enjoy super smash brothers i've always been a smash fan i've always enjoyed smash brothers but the real icing on the cake here for for you death note fans out there i'm I'm very new to death note i don't know a lot about it but i know a little so ryuk and light are at the end of the trailer um they're the after credit scene kind of like marvel mcu style and they're just looking down at luffy goku and naruto all fighting frieza and they're just they don't say anything they're just looking down on the fight watching 
and waiting. And I don't know if they're going to be good guys or bad guys. Maybe, um, you know, maybe Light being the holder of the Death Note could end up being the most powerful here and be the main villain. I don't know. I personally don't believe that, that, that that's the case, just because, again, I feel like that's too simple. But maybe I'm overthinking it. But again, um, I, I don't think the Death Note is going to work in this game, just because it's a bit overpowered. But I do feel like maybe Light and Ryuk will end up having this kind of like JoJo's Bizarre Adventures bond, where he's like a stand. And instead of writing names in the Death Note, he writes attacks in the Death Note, because maybe the Death Note doesn't work on other universes. There's a lot of unique ways that these characters could have combos and attacks that would work really well in the game. And I feel like ultimately this was a very unique and good choice for them to go with as long as it's executed correctly um and that is really it for the trailer uh those are all the characters that are revealed that's everything that happens um link in the description down below if you'd like to watch it for yourself and i personally believe that they're going to have a lot more and here's hoping that you know jotaro kenshiro saitama genos vegeta perfect cell all the characters that i love one Punch Man and, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures and all those great characters are in here too. So thank you all so much for watching. Tell me what you think of the game down below and peace!